Awesome. So my my mic was muted. So anyway, welcome back to Aromatics. Uh, my bad, guys. Apologies. So basically what I was saying is we've got some unboxings to do of these new uh, designers. And what we're going to do is crack into them, do some first impressions, and rate them. If any one of these fragrances get a good enough rating, then I'll give it a full wear and a full review. Or if we determine that there's enough hype and people want to you know really know about these that's what we'll do otherwise if it's forgettable that's what it's going to be forgettable in between these first impressions i'll try and read some comments so let's try and keep it related and if you have any unrelated questions i'm gonna allot about 10 to 15 minutes in the end so i just want to ask if you could just save those for the end and i will try and address those so hope the audio is good now it looks like we're all good love you guys welcome dennis scotty good to see you hello lydia Good to see you, everyone. All right. I, I was going to say happy something, but I didn't even know what day it was because I'm just on my stretch off and we just work every day. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. So my scent of the night or scent of the day yesterday was a little bit late in posting it because of Eid. Happy Eid for all of you that celebrate. And it's this one. It's called Portofino Noir. It's Dolce & Gabbana The One, EDT. You guys, I'm honestly pretty impressed. So, so far, a lot of these fragrances from Riffs weren't really performing that well. I could smell myself for about an hour, an hour and a half, actually. And then for the remainder of the fragrance, it gave me seven hours. It gave me seven hours. For the remaining of the fragrance, I could smell it and I, without even like digging. But it was more like just an aura. It was a little cloud. So this one, really not bad. I guess it's only a couple of them. So Portofino Noir, Dolce & Gabbana, the one. This one's a green light for sure. This one's a green light so far. So far, five to seven hours. I think that's excellent. Gonna be sipping on my coffee. I haven't really checked out any of the new releases until now. Royal I got from overseas. And Amber I also got from overseas. You can see there's a little Arabic in the O. So this is Arabic in that O. And it just says Anbar, which is Amber. So this one in the Oud, I think, was exclusive to the East. What's going on, BMC? Good to see you. Scent of the day. Killer Oud, jubilant. That's what's up. Jack of clubs can't get enough of this. It's good stuff. I haven't checked out a lot of the new releases. Let me head to my local Sephora and we'll see if we get these together. Yeah, we'll see these together for sure. Uh, but I doubt you'll find these two. That's the only thing. Center of the day is Qaid al Fursan. Uh-oh, shots fired on TLT. You know what? <clears throat> Let's check it out together, you guys. What's going on on TLTGs? What's going on in your house, Ross? Some ruckus? Some shenanigans? <laughs> Let's check it out together. Hang on, hang on, hold the phone. Day in the life of aromatics. Interesting, let me take you guys with me. Should be pretty, pretty funny. This has turned into a reaction video too. Well we're back for round two. I brought more than just five new releases. So we're going to do another. What are you on about? Let's see. Vanilla. Uh, Where's my fragrance? It's. It, <laughs> okay. Come on now. Okay, this is it. Let's see. Well, that was close. Let me know what you think. Wow, that's good. That's a good start. Yeah, I like that. I don't think we'll be shitting on this one. That's really good. That's really, really good. Okay. I, I'm I agree. trying to like articulate my words with this. Trying to place it. Yeah. This oh, would you guys be, can hear. This would be a great fragrance to include on my top ten zookeeper fragrance list. <laughs> but no, this is good. This is good. <laughs> no, wow, this is uh, I really like this. I'm trying to pick out yeah, if I say anything stands out to you. Um it's it, come on yes like mm. a like a almost like a vanilla base amber with like a like a beautiful freshness at the top um really painting the picture here that's what this is like excellent kind of articulate. yeah excellent description yeah. provide the visual for the thought process uh yeah all i'm really picking up is like sweet vanilla uh, amber uh not at the top huh <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's <laughs> be honest. Because you're going to be very surprised when I show you what the fragrance is if you don't pick none of it out. I mean, I feel like there's some spice in here, but I can't articulate what. <laughs> Maybe like some cinnamon, mm -hmm. some tobacco. Oh, absolutely no spice nope, in there. None of that. Not even close. <laughs> I quit. I quit. <laughs> if you had to rate this mystery fragrance, uh, for my performance, I'd do like a two out of two. <laughs> two out of two. So we got two it. Two out of two. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Absolutely two, perfect. Oh. But um, for the actual scent, it's very nice. I'd probably say like um, seven out of ten. Yeah, okay, that's fair. That's right. So this is coconut daiquiri. This is the collaboration between oh. space fragrances and aromatics. It is. Eve is going to kick my ass. A bunch, of <laughs> rice, a bunch of citrus, some coconuts. Some Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the hell happened? A bunch of citrus, some coconuts, some sweet florals, some <laughs> booze. <laughs> This is the collaboration between oh. space fragrances and aromatics. It is. Deep a, is going to kick my ass. I'm quite surprised. Bunch of citrus. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I see it. I see it. So he was reviewing my fragrance with Sphinx. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. What's going on, chat? Sorry about that. We went off a little bit. I know I had to do it backwards, sense of sense. All right. Cool. Let's go ahead and get started right away. Just got my need mail call. Coconut daiquiri, Coco Loco, our moth hunter, and got a sample of Sphinx. That's what's up, Miles. I hope you enjoy it, bro. Hope you enjoy it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I want to start off with something that I love and many people do as well is the Spice Bomb lineup. So I remember what the infrared EDT smells like, but I never really picked it up until recently. And the reason I did it recently is so that we can do some comparison side by sides and really narrow down what I think about each one of these Spice Bomb flankers. So here we go. Same Spice Bomb design, infrared EDP. So the thing with what I'm hoping with this is that it's the same case as the Night Vision EDP. Night Vision EDP was much better than EDT, in my opinion. I've got all this. What the hell is this? This came right off of this. All right, whatever. So let's see. Oh, no, this is leaking. Awesome. So the bottle is leaking. Where did I buy this from? I don't even remember. Leaky bottle, but it is what it is. Interesting. Okay, this deviates... Pretty far off from the original, that's for damn sure. This is much spicier and hotter. I think they kept the, uh, let's take a look at the notes. So far, I'm like, all right, it's cool. I know that it's a little bit better than the EDT so far. Let's take a look at the notes together. This is pretty spicy. This is pretty damn spicy. All right, so here we go. Yeah, there's a lot of chili pepper. A lot. I don't know how I feel about this one. You know what I think it is? It's it's pretty much leather and chili pepper and pink pepper. This is spicy woods. Spicy woods and leather. Let's take a look at the infrared original. Yeah, so that's the biggest difference that I can remember at least is... This doesn't have any of those fruits. And this has a lot of that leather. Honestly, I think mass appeal wise, I'm not really crazy about this one. It smells good, but if you ask me right now, I still favor the um, Spice Bomb Extreme, man, and the original. Even Night Vision over this one. This is going to turn some heads, but eh, I'm not crazy about it. I'm just being real. It's a drier, woodier, leather, and spice. Not bad. I mean, it is better than most designers. That's for damn sure. I mean, I love Victor and Rolf fragrances, period. This whole spice bomb. Not bad. Not bad. What would I rate it right now? A seven and a half. Nothing, nothing crazy, honestly. A lot of resins, leather, and woods. And it's not just woods, it's spicy woods. I didn't want to say spice because it's it really just feels like more woods and resins and leather. And it's okay. It's okay. See, that's the problem with designers, man. That's how I feel about them. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's new. And I was very interested. I'm always interested in the new designers. Not bad. So far, seven. Seven out of ten. It's it's good, but it's it's that. It's good. All right, let's move on to the next one, which I think I'm going to like a lot more are these two. So um, I usually love the Spice Bomb flankers. But like I said, number one for me is Spice Bomb Extreme. Definitely. So let's see what people are saying. 
the original is more playful and youthful. The new one is more mature. This is definitely more mature. I have to agree with Scott. Scott over from the channel, uh, Scott Aromatico. Check him out, guys. I have to agree. If you're looking for like the spice bomb DNA, mature, because of the resins and leather, it definitely scales it up a bit. In that respect, I can respect it. So in that, you know, when you look at it in that, oh man, this bottle is janked up, you guys. Look at that. Like the paint came off and no, 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 this ain't going to happen. We're going to, we're going to situate that. But yeah, yeah, that's how I feel about it. I forgot about it already, honestly. So let's move on to the next one. One million Royal. And let's see. Let's see. One million Royal. Even on one million, okay. There is no notes on Fragrantica. <clears throat> oh, there is. All right, so warm, spicy, aromatic, amber, woody, lavender. Let's see what the notes are. Ooh, okay. This sounds like more my speed. Cardamom, some citruses, bubble gummy. Bubblegummy sage, benzoin. Nice. Aromatic, spicy, and citrus. Sounds like it's right up my alley. And woods. Every time I say right up my alley, I swear I regret it. But here we go. One million royal. All right. Cool. Let's check it out. Is the hype real? From the Middle Eastern nose, that is. Different tastes. So if you vibe with me, you're going to know what to expect. If you have a similar taste to me, let's find out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yes. See, this is good. This is good. Mass appealing? Sure. Good? Yes. Bubble gummy. One million elixir blended with one million parfum vibes. Pretty good. Something new? Not really. Not really. Very nice, though. You guys, that's exactly what I'm getting. One million elixir. There's that dense sweetness, which is, I'm assuming, benzoin and whatever else they have that they didn't list that's giving it the sweetness and possibly the sage with cardamom. And then you're getting some of the uh, nuances from the parfum. Let's see. It's okay, one million elixir. This is a bit brighter than one million elixir. I like this one. Let's do a little side by side. Which one do I like more? <clears throat> Man, you guys, I don't know if you live in the northern parts of the states right now. There's all that smog or soot from the wildfires in Canada, and it's killing me. My asthma is just through the roof because of it. And you go out, it's literally, it legit looks like fog, and you can't see like a couple meters out, and it turns out it's wildfire smokes. So, all right, here we go. So I want to test Royal versus Elixir. Which one is worth your money? And what I'm going to do with these is I've pretty much got all the flankers for the Spice Bomb and for the Stronger With You and for the, the uh, 1 million for the purpose. I want to be able to come back and report to you guys what I think is worth the money. If you buy with me, I think that's valuable. So here, all right, Royal. Oh, Elixir, man. Elixir still takes the cake. Yeah, something in that opening. Something in that opening. Let's see. Elixir takes the cake. The fruits. Yeah, man. That apple. Just wow. All right. I've got to wear this one. This is one that's worthy of a wear. For sure. The apple in, in uh, 1 million elixir just, it's so nice. It's so nice, fruity, sweet, playful. It's kind of... You know, the Royal opened up bubble gummy. Very nice. Very sweet. It was, it was a, okay, this is good. But this one opened up the same way. Plus, what is that? So that, what is that? Is that apple? Because I wanted to say pineapple for a second, but it's apple. Very nice. Very freaking nice. And I love the note of Devana. So this is Devana instead of sage, which are both like uh, aromatic teas, basically. So I do have a tendency to go more for Devana than I do for Sage. Very nice. So far, 1 million Royal, an 8. I'm rating this in the designer realm, an 8. 1 million Elixir, 9 to a 
honestly, based on the opening, based on the opening. So let's see what you guys think. Do you guys have 1 million Royal? Let's see. Let's try and keep it just a little bit related. And at the end, like I said, guys, I'll answer all the Duke questions in the freaking world for 10 to 15 minutes. Disclaimer. <laughs> all right, let's go. Infrared bottles are notorious for leaking. I've talked to several others. Yeah, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. I honestly, I probably won't even like pursue it just because it's like, who has time? Any, the one intense, not yet. But I'm telling you, dude, this one, it was really nice. For the price, dude, for under $29, that's really nice. Dolce & Gabbana, the one. But granted, I cake it on, you guys. 15 sprays minimum. If you want to smell something that doesn't perform, <laughs> minimum. The best Nabil. I haven't really dove into Nabil too often. I'm sorry, bro. I can't really answer that one, Saqib. Six Figure Days. What's going on? Welcome to the chat. Spice Bomb Extreme is goaded. Is definitely... But more recently, the older I get, the more I visit it, the more playful and childish it is. But not to that doesn't discredit the fact that it's still one of my most complimented from dudes and like it's just everybody, women, dudes, everybody just loves it, man. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, infrared bottles. I don't know about other people, but that's that was pretty bad. Nice, a Jamal Midnight Edition. I haven't tried that one yet, Well, Good to see you, bro. 185 AQI, yeah. The air quality index, 185? Holy smokes, that's a nightmare. Let me see, air quality index in Michigan. <clears throat> what is it at today? Are you going to tell Oh, wow, dude. Yeah, man, that is so freaking bad. And you know what's funny? It was supposed to end yesterday. It actually got worse. Oh, my God. And here my air purifier has been off the whole time. Let me go turn that thing on real quick. I've got like this industrial. Sorry, guys. Health over everything. Got to make sure the Matrix doesn't suck us into their conspiracy smog, right? <laughs> yes. No, I'm just messing. But anyway, all right. Let's continue on. Where I am. That's crazy, dude. That is crazy. You guys, so this is like the index, the scale. This is where we should be, 0 to 50. And right now, it's rating at about 180, which is right here. That is insane. So I just turned my filter on, and it's reading right now at about... 65 right here should have kept it on damn it and we're inside with the windows closed and everything so <clears throat> i highly suggest that you invest in a <clears throat> excuse me in an air purifier you guys i'm actively dying on live <laughs> uh scott good to see you 14 likes that's it come on man on average joe good to see you bro is that a day date with a dot? Yeah. Presidential, baby. Can you review what time? Fragrance World. That reminded me. I need to get a, my winder. The case is busted. Those things are expensive. Automatic watches are a fucking headache. Thoughts on Infinity Musk, Mason Alhambra. It's on the way. I haven't got it yet. Yeah, 185 is pretty bad, man. 1 million parfum. That's a really good one. Uh, Richie, I ha that's probably one of the most versatile, new, fra like, uh, sweet type of frags. I think that one, for me, it battles with 1 million lucky. Because it has that same, I don't want to say juvenile, but more playful sweetness that's done in a semi-bright way. So if you guys like 1 million lucky, check out 1 million parfum. I genuinely like it. And if you have the same taste, you might like it too. Weak sauce. The performance of Ish al Silver from Latafa is just weak. Don't even bother. Honestly, I tried so hard to get myself to review it, but I just don't have the energy. It's so hard to start the camera and be negative for like seven minutes. It's really hard. But what I can do is just tell you guys when you ask me, Ish al sil Silver is not worth it. I'll probably do a short. I'm, I'm going to do a short for that just so people know. Like that stuff is so weak. Two hours max. That Roy. 
I'm going to make a short on an updated couple of Latafa fragrances that are not worth it. The Royal Sapphire, the Ishqa Shiuch Silver. I'm just going to say Latafa fragrances not worth the money. Done. All right, let's continue. Next one and last one is going to be Stronger With You Amber. Highly anticipated for me because I love the Stronger With You line. And I'm going to be doing a whole lineup of all of them. Unfortunately, the only couple that I don't have, which is really not that unfortunate because it's not really available, so who cares, is the leather and the um, oud. I don't have the freeze because for whatever reason, my nose picks it up similar to Invictus Aqua freeze. And for me, it's just so beaten to death, man. So beaten to death, Invictus Aqua. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to pick it up for a couple of reasons. Performance. And comparison, and if I think it's better than Hawass, because I know a lot of people love that, uh, you know, aquatic, sweet, uh, bubblegummy Invictus Aqua, and Stronger With You Freeze is similar, you guys. I mean, let's even take a look at it together. Stronger With You Freeze. So, quite a few different notes, I understand. But I think for the most part, let's see, where's Invictus Aqua? this aqua hmm, maybe i'm not thinking about it right maybe not okay now i have to pick it up so i can actually know what i'm talking about when it comes to freeze is it freeze or is it something else the other day i saw one of the invictus flankers getting compared to it but no okay well, anyway, regardless, I'm going to pick it up and we'll do side-by-side -side comparisons of all of them and we'll talk about it. But Invictus Aqua, it's good, but it's beaten to death. Let's see what's stronger with you, Amber. Here we go. Stronger with you, Amber. Scroll down to the notes. Oh, my God. Come on, man. They're killing us with this thing. This is what we're going to get. Three notes, but who cares? Is it good? And then somebody's gonna make a guest appearance here in a second. Mocha, come here you. Today we were going down the stairs, taking out to potty, and I swear to God, you guys, she's straight Superman all the way down the stairs, just sliding down the damn stairs. Puppies, man. All right. Very nice bottle. Very nice bottle. Stronger with you, Amber. So we have that Anbar in the middle on the O in Arabic. Here we go. I love the Stronger with you DNA. Let's see. And many other companies do because Azaro responded to that DNA. And I'm um, sure it's, it just spawns so many flankers and dupes and Oh, this is nice. Immediately, what I think about is similar to Intensely, but much more tame. I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, I see more of a similarity to Intensely. But why I like this one over it, the sweetness. I think that Intensely is pretty sickly. Sickly sweet. This is, in my opinion, similar to the Intensely, minus that freaking overdose of sweetness. Yeah, man. <clears throat> the Amber, Vanilla, Lavender. I'm still getting some toffee. I'm still getting some toffee. Cinnamon, definitely. There's, there's benzoin in here. There has to be some benzoin in here. I'm, I'm getting that straight up like mystica, like mastic type of vibe. It's just, I can smell the sap. It smells like tree sap. Benzoin, amber, vanilla, cinnamon, maybe not toffee. Maybe not toffee. It's just the Madagascar vanilla is pretty sweet, but not nearly as sweet as intensely. Okay, so they didn't list this as a note, but I'm pretty certain, I'm pretty certain that the biggest difference between this, there's two differences that's sticking out like a sore thumb in my mind. And it's a use of resins. There's benzoin in here or Styrax because it's a sweeter type of resin. Styrax has 
Uh, it's complemented well with Madagascar vanilla versus uh, some of the others like myrrh and stuff. Yeah. So difference, not as sweet. And there's resin. Amber, resin, not as sweet. But it smells like intensely. I like this one a lot. This is way more grown up though. So this is what I think about this flanker. Stronger with you, Amber is for the more mature nose that enjoys this DNA, but thinks that a lot of them are too sweet. I didn't really want to say absolutely because of the booze, but if I'm being honest, it does have a lot of similarity in terms of, I mean, really they're all similar. Biggest difference, I, if I compare this to absolutely, this one doesn't have the booze, but it has everything else plus amber or plus resin. Very nice. So far, eight and a half. Eight and a half to a nine. I still favor absolutely over this one. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely still favor. Okay, see, so it may it might actually be closer to this one then because there is that LMI. So, okay. Regardless, it's got the LMI, it's got the vanilla. This one doesn't have the ambers. So it's a mashup. Mashup. They're pretty different. Pretty different. Okay, cool. That's what I think about this one. Eight and a half. Uh, biggest difference is that freaking just straight up resin. Resin is in there and it's very, very loud. The resin and the amber. So, so far, I think that this is the best one out of this haul. This is definitely the best one. Infrared, forgettable. Yeah, infrared EDP, it's forgettable. It's closer to the original Spice Bomb. If you think about the original Spice Bomb with like a little bit more, you know, um, macho vibes, right? Because of that leather. And it's a bit spicier as well. Yeah, it's right here. It's much grown up, much more grown up. This is an adult version of Spice Bomb original, much more grown up, drier, more serious. It draws like this super dry woods. So I'll, I'll keep that at a seven and a half, seven and a half out of 10. Uh, let's go to Royal. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I might've gotten them mixed up. So let's do the opening one more time because I think I just smelled Elixir and Elixir got an ooh while Royal got a whatever. Yeah, Royal is, it's good. Oh, Lord have mercy. This stuff is good. You guys want to get... <laughs> yeah, man. Elixir all day over Royal. Royal is good. Royal is good, but... It's okay. It's okay. It's like tangerine, sweet, bubble gummy, but... Yeah. I'm glad I got this in the size of a gold brick. Well, this is a gold brick, but... Much better, you guys. This is much better. For me, this is probably a nine and a half in designer realm, almost a 10 in designer realm. Whereas this one, eight and eight. And this one would be an eight and a half. So that's pretty much it. Nothing really crazy with either of these, with any of these, really, with any of these. But if you're inclined to go for one, I think that this one is probably the best bet. Granted, it's not available in the States. Um, but you can find it online for some some places out in the east. Uh, you can sample all of these. I highly suggest you sample them before you buy them, at least if we share the same taste. Otherwise, I would have just said, you guys, this is full bottle worthy or blind buy worthy. In my opinion, if I blind bought this, I would be very happy still. So if we share similar taste, go for this one instead. It's got like this beautiful apple opening and even in the dry down the apple fruitiness with the with the aromatic like the tea vibes and the sweetness it's the entirety of the fragrance really good stuff really good stuff all right so that's what i think about these releases so i'm going to go ahead and dedicate the next 10 to 15 minutes to answer some questions do you guys have any one of these fragrances by the way what do you guys think have you sampled any one of these i want to know in the live chat so let's check it out any opinion on I did a review on that one. I think it's a great, it's the best dupe for Amouage Reflection right now. <clears throat> Suppose Paris Corner is higher quality in all points than Latafa and quality of oil performance in general. It, it, it's, 
you know, you can't really tell with these brands. I swear you can't tell. Like, for example, the other day I was like, man, Rift stuff is weak. I don't get more than two hours. This one the other day gave me seven. So it really, bro, with all of these dupe companies, it's all up and down. You really don't know. You really don't know. But in general, I mean, for the most part, I would say Paris Corner has never let me down so far. Mm. Worst part is my college didn't cancel sports practice. What? Dude, I would have told them I'm sorry I'm not coming for health reasons. What's going on, BLK? Not bad here in Toronto. We're blowing it. Yeah, bro. Y'all need to get your stuff in order. Get your shit together, man. Messing us up here. <laughs> I just got Asad, Woody, Oud, and Oud for Glory. Love them all. Thanks for recommending them. Salute, bro. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Lamal Elixir is a favorite release of the year. Cool. I've got it. I'm very excited to open it. That's going to be the next unboxing this week. I think the next one we'll do. Well, I'll let you guys decide. What do you guys think? Would you, next video, do you want to see another uh, designer unboxing? I've got Lamal Elixir, 1 million parfum, and something else I don't remember. Or would you rather see another unboxing for a cheapie? So here's your chance to vote. Where are you all ordering Paris Corner out of curiosity? Um, really, Lydia, do your own research. You can Google it. Uh, I provide for you a link for the direct website to the distributor. But do your own shopping because it might be cheaper elsewhere. Otherwise, you can use Aroma Concepts, and I have a code, and it helps support the channel, and it's Aromatics 10. You save 10% off. But if you find it cheaper, I would say that it's smarter to go the cheaper route. So do your research. There's a couple of links, I think, of discounters. I don't I don't have discounter links, but there are a lot of links online that you can fi find, for sure. Three Middle Eastern frags for tropical country. I already have Qaed al-Fursan. Um, uh, I'm going to have to think about that one. Did you give Mocha a belly rub after? Uh, uh, oh, man, she didn't even want it. She just started jumping right after. Emporio Freeze was meh. How else is smoother and better? Understood. Maybe that deserves a comparison video because there are some similarities and differences. For me, I don't know why. I'm just more inclined to that, that sweet chestnut. Well, it's because I'm Middle Eastern, really. And I love, like, dates. I love, like... Uh, Honey, asal, things like that, you know, tamr, asal. How long should I macerate my fragrances? Okay, so here's a little bit of, of uh, information. Macerate versus ma maturate are two different things. When you macerate, it's usually when you're mixing the fragrance. And so the producer or the factories usually macerate. Once you get it, you're never macerating it. You're, you're letting it mature. So Nikhil... You are never going to macerate a fragrance. You're going to allow it to mature. So what happens when you get these fragrances, they're already macerated while it's mixing and sitting and whatever. When you get it, you atomize it. And by putting in the oxygen into the bottle, it kind of creates like this molecular uh, displacement, which on a molecular level, there's some oxygen particles in between all of the, uh, you know, the solution and the solvent. And so you have these these oil particles mixed in with whatever solution that you have in the bottle. And now you've gapped them or squeezed them together because of introducing these oxygen particles. So if you see each particle as like a little bubble, you've got the oils and you've got the alcohol and the water. Each, each uh, uh, little factor that I mentioned is a bubble. And now you've introduced oxygen. So now you're squeezing in more bubbles into an already cramped place. And what does this do? It allows these circles or bubbles to now get even closer or if not be absorbed into each other. So my recommendation with that being said, you atomize it, introduce it, spray it 20 times, 30 times, the more the merrier, all good. And then you let it sit for about two weeks. And what ends up happening is for two weeks, those bubbles or particles on a molecular, molecular level, uh, they are just crammed. And so eventually they will be more evenly dispersed, creating a more even spray on the next couple wears, guaranteeing or not guaranteeing, uh, promoting a more consistent uh, wear with your fragrances. So that's the science of it. Hopefully that helps. So mature. How long are you letting them mature? With all due respect, I didn't intend on dogging or schooling or nothing. Just a little bit of information that I know of. I could possibly be wrong. So it's all good. How's Fry doing? Fry, come here, baby. He said, screw you. He's doing good. Thanks for asking. 
the chap looking for jack of clubs in the uk line capital letters jka okay awesome joe blow for those of you that don't know jka he's saying that they're capital letters only so oh okay there's a jack there's the king and there's the ace so jack of clubs would be j by fragrance world interesting i don't know about that i can't vouch for it but interesting How's Amber Eve by Fragrance Hold? I haven't worn it yet, but it's definitely on the line of to wear. Fragrances to wear. You love infrared. I respect that. I respect that. Hey, brother. I love you, bro. Thank you, Mokhbal. I appreciate you. What's your thought on Roja Amber Oud? Do you think it's a Middle Eastern style Oud? Not necessarily, no. That fragrance is way more based off of like Amber, Ylang Ylang, things like that. It's a much more amber centric fragrance it's really not it's really nice but it's not oud i know sometimes they put oud and you're thinking middle eastern no not at all but i do have the sultanate of oman i got an 8 ml and we're gonna i'm gonna do uh first impressions on a lot more niche and stuff what is the first fragrance you own since you started your collection man that's a hard question to answer bro but um you know i remember back in the day it was lacoste red that was one of the fragrances that I just obsessed over, Lacoste Red, for a long time. Do I have it now? No. Will I buy it now? Mm, uninteresting. But one of the fragrances that's been most worn for me, Spice Bomb Extreme. Honestly, I even used to wear that to the gym, bro. And people used to compliment me at the gym for Spice Bomb Extreme. Dude, it, if it's you, it's you. It doesn't matter where you wear it. Just don't wear it as much. It's me. Is there a redundancy in having? I don't think so. I don't think so. This is the thing. If you have a small collection, I think, yes, you will find a redundancy in it. If you have a bigger collection, not really, because there are different accords. You're going to get the similar pineapple, but one is far smokier and earthier from the oak moss. Literally like a mossy, wet woods. Think of that pineapple. Et, add wet woods. That's what Prince smells like. Wet woods and pineapple versus... um. Wait, Prince, that's a Baccarat. I'm thinking, which one am I thinking? That's the Baccarat and pineapple. Still, it still applies. It still applies. If you have a small collection, it will be redundant. If you don't, no. Eid Mubarak to you and your family. Likewise, Eric, I appreciate you. From Belgium, beautiful, man. Hope all is well over in Belgium, bro. From Brazil, awesome. Love you guys. Beautiful country. A lot of Brazilians I used to know in uh, Florida when I lived in Orlando. And Cubans. I love Latinos, man. Hispanics, Latinos, all of them. Infrared was good. That's all. Can, can't see myself recommending it. Yeah, I agree. That's exactly how I feel about it. These are all three of these are good. Um, but Amber was a little bit better than good. But One Million Elixir is great. One Million Elixir is great. Yeah, I, I love the One Million line, but I didn't know there was a new flanker because it's not good enough for people to talk about it. I don't think so. Honestly, it was kind of just like a, hey, first impressions, and let's forget about it. Because that's exactly what's going to happen with me. I ordered on Sam Silva yesterday based on your impression. Need. Paul, I doubt you'll be disappointed. That stuff smells pretty damn good. It smells designer quality. And that's why this realm of fragrances is so weird right now. It's in limbo. Because all of these cheapies, they're contesting with niche at this point in time. They're not even, con like, designers, they don't even, they're not even contest anymore. Because half of these cheapies now are almost niche level and a lot of them are designer level and there's still some that are below but for the most part they're designer level but granted there are still some designers that they can't touch i'm not gonna lie to you guys like this i don't think that they'll get like this you know there are some dnas where it's just like whoa yeah some of them are worth it for sure designers been hearing that Qaid al Fursan is very similar to game time and I, I already have Qaid. What do you think? Honestly, there is a similarity to it. There is. For me, Qaid al-Fursan is very pineapple with like undertones of Baccarat. So it might be redundant to Game Time and Prince. It might be. In my opinion, I would rather just get uh, Qaid al-Fursan. If I had to pick between all three of those and I have the Qaid, I will just keep it. That's it. And I would get another DNA. Focus on another scent. Don't be redundant. Don't be redundant. Buying back, I'll tell you guys what, okay? I've been collecting for a lot of years. I don't even know, I don't, who cares how many numbers? And I bought backup bottles. I swear on everything I love, I have yet to open one of those backups. 
I have yet to open one of those backups. Granted, you can't really, we can't really compare because I have so many, but the point is I stopped buying backups and my collection grew versus buying backups. You're limiting yourself to one. Buy the fragrance, buy another one, and then if you run out, just replace it. If it's out of stock, go check out the reviews, see what's new. Granted, if there is a fragrance that's just your signature, you buy a backup. Like for me, for example. But I mean, how many signature scents are you going to have? You need like maybe four, four signatures. Winter, summer, spring, fall, right? So for me, I have Diorome. Diorome, that's backup bottle for sure. I have um, Stronger With You Absolutely, bought a backup. And I have Spice Bomb Extreme, bought a backup. These are signature scents for me. That's it. And Versace Dylan Blue. That's all I bought backups for. The rest, oh, and Adonis Awakens. You, you know I, <laughs> you know I love that stuff. But that's it. That's it, man. Don't get too lost in backups, and then you miss out on so many good fragrances because they add up. They add up. You end up spending like two fifty on one hundred and twenty dollars, twenty five dollar fragrances. Fragrance. You could buy one hundred twenty five dollar fragrance, buy three cheapies, and you're still not at two fifty. And you guess what? You got four cents now. So. It's hard. It's hard. But anyway, Cheyenne, personally love the infrared EDP. Awesome. Solid performance for me. And I normally have poor performance. I could see that because of the leather and the resins, much denser on my tattooed skin. Price point is fair. It is fair uh, for what it is. And I feel like it's an every season wear. I respect that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. See, I can see this working for you because you mentioned you have a tattoo. Uh, I don't mean to uh, categorize you or put you in any type of uh, stereotype. But for me, what pops in my head is tattoo, more rugged, more mature, more, you know. And so for that, or like in a like a leather coat or biker type of vibes, for that vibe, yes, this is the type of scent I can picture for you because it's got those leather, that leather, those resins, the more, I don't want to say gothic, but. It treads in that masculinity vibe. So, yeah, I respect that. Awesome. Gents loved the Amber Oud Violet, Ultraviolet. Awesome. I'll have to check out his review on it. I haven't seen it. Would you recommend Sharaf Oud, the gold one? You like Wadi Oud. Far different. Wadi Oud is dry, brittle woods. Uh, almost dusty woods, whereas Sharaf Oud is sweeter, loud, spicy saffron. Very loud. Sharaf Oud is a, like such a good dupe of Arabian Oud Risala. That's it. It's not a blind buy safe fragrance. If you're in the Middle East, it is a blind buy safe fragrance because our taste is far different. We already know the saffron uh, and uh, chocolate Oud combination. Different. West, not safe. Can't wait to get Amber Oud Tobacco Edition. It's a good fragrance. It's a great, great fragrance. Tom Ford Tobacco Vinny. Infrared was just meh. I had pretty much the same impression. Yet to try Royal, but I do have the elixir and it's amazing. It really is. It really is. Hold the phone from Mozambique. Damn, son, you're exotic. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Good to see you, George. Welcome to the chat. Not yet, Undertaker. Not yet. Nasruddin Humayun Sheikh. What an epic name. Wa alaikum as salam, bro. What an epic name. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Our Moth Hunter Killer Bullet or Supreme Loam Extreme. I get more performance out of our Moth. Refinement? Obvious. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I thought you were talking about the original. Oh, okay. Let me. I, I don't want to spoil it. Mm, interesting. I would go with either or, to be honest. Right now, I'm slightly favoring the Hunter Killer Bullet. I am. But I'm still going to have to release that Supreme Loam Extreme video because I, I have not released it yet. But it's a great fragrance. I think either one is good. But for now, I think the Armoff has a little bit of the edge. Enjoying this donut. How That is my weakness. Donut, pizza, and cookies. Weakness. Oh, you give me one with the stuffed, with the vanilla frosting, dude? Game over. Game over. I saw Roma Concept last night. They seem reasonable. Thank you. My pleasure. Watching from Karachi. MashaAllah. Eid Mubarak, bro. Basha. Desert Falcon Deluxe by Arabian Oud. Wallahi, I tried to pick this up. I tried. And they have the sale right now in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. 
and they're out of stock even in where they're at. So as soon as I can get it, man, as soon as I can get it. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. I'm far behind. I'm way far behind. So hold the phone on this one, Nikhil, because uh, I was recommending a lot Noir Endurance by Just Jack. If you can still find it, grab it. But a lot of requests for this one, for, for this one, had me to, I turned Egyptian for a second. For this one, <laughs> for this one, I've been getting a lot of requests. And so I picked up something else that I believe is another dupe. So hold the phone. It should be arriving today, actually. It should be arriving today. As soon as I confirm it, I'll let you know. Oh, dude, they need to, they will start. Mark my words, dude, they will start. You know what? Ross has been requesting a Spice Bomb Blue. What about, oh, they already did. What, no, wait a minute, they did. What about a Spice Bomb Oud? Come on, people. I think Spice and Oud and Vanilla. What are they waiting for, man? Like, that's a part of the Spice Bomb. Like, come on, get with it or get lost. You know, look, Stronger With You, I have respect for him. Because they did the Anbar. They did the Anbar. And they did the Oud. Now, Spice Bomb, where are you at, bro? <laughs> where are you at, bro? Where are you at? Spice Bomb Oud. Inshallah. Anyway. Hi, Neeb Ralph. Good to see you, man. I bought Ornament Poron by Afnan. And my nose is a com combination of Azara Wanted EDT, Wanted EDP, and Lanvini Clat Diarpage. Poron. Interesting. Great scent. I also did a review on my YouTube channel. Check them out, guys. I love ornament. Ornament for me plays in that uh, uh, stronger with you, absolutely slash one million elixir. It's such a golden, golden cheapy. Honestly, for I got it for twenty five bucks. That's a cheapy I bought a backup for. <laughs> that is a cheapy. I'm not proud of it. Okay, but that is a cheapy I bought it for because it was twenty five bucks. And I know that once people start getting on it, it's gonna skyrocket. And I want to be able to throw it into my. Uh, my Patreon box for sure, because I have a Patreon. If you guys don't already know, you can join. There's uh, it's fifth. There's two. You could, you can get one for twenty dollars, and I'll send you every month samples. It's gonna be three samples. It's gonna be worth at least 30, 40 bucks um, of Middle Eastern fragrances. Obviously, that's for twenty bucks. You're gonna get three samples at random, Middle Eastern fragrances, and then I have a fifty buck one, which uh, you get full bottles. Could be used, it could be boxed, it could be brand new. I've got literally over 70 already in a box just for these Patreon things. And samples, maybe niche, maybe all that stuff. So check it out, guys. I have that link in the description uh, all the way at the bottom if you're interested. It's fun. Sometimes you don't know what you're going to get. And the value for those boxes greatly exceeds what you're going to pay. Um, granted, it is a raffle, so you have a chance. But for example, this month's box, the value is like 220 220 and I still haven't finished it because I want to buy a scarf for the winter, like a Middle Eastern scarf. So yes, I'm still digging Maher Legacy. Am I wearing it still? I haven't had a chance to wear it. Once I review something, there's so many that need to be reviewed that I just keep moving. I'm going to continue on. I'm going to scroll down a little bit, you guys. Middle Eastern. Yeah, they sure have. The Bane, my interviewer. What are your goals? Spread positivity, man. That's it. Health happiness, family, love. That's my goals, man. And continue to work and whatever God brings, whatever doors stay open or close, I'll take them with open arms. I appreciate that question though. That was a good one. No, I have not tried Fattis. Let's scroll down. City Rhythm Fragrances. I've tried City Rhythm Fragrances. They're pretty good for the most part. I haven't tried the new one. It was under on his top 10 unknown clone or something like that. Not an old video. Oh, okay. Got you for the Gen Sense. With advances in tech, I only see a gap between designer knockoffs coming in. It's getting even closer, and it will continue to. Why so many brands? Because it makes money. People want to dive into the pot, but be careful. I haven't tried Oud Ruby. Let me continue going down. I definitely have to try Gis Gisada. I agree. Michael Malou, London. Awesome. I've tried Gen Sense fragrances from Michael Malou. Terra Nova and stuff like that. Thank you for your nonstop grind. Sense of sense with a super chat. God bless you. Thank you for making this possible. It's your support, just like that. And just watching, really, not just the super chats. I appreciate the super chats as well, of course. So thank you again. Miles happened to leave me in a great spot and leave it uh, mature and it'll be greater. Yes. Okay. Only makes sense, right? Spice Bomb Oud. 
Get with the time, Spice Bomb. Yes. Where are you at, bro? Right? Right? For sure. Ah, uh, I'd argue with that, Bane. I would definitely argue with that. <laughs> but it's good to have you, nonetheless. My favorite amber frag. You know what? I'm going to be real with you. So far, I don't really dig amber fragrances. But so far, the one that really got my attention was a little sample I sprayed one time of Roja's Amber Oud. For an amber fragrance, it was really good. Really good. But I haven't really tried much. Could you make the Patreon international, bro? I would love to, man. I really would love to. But so when you go to the post office and you have to, you have to declare it. You have to declare what it is. Then you're in there sending spending 20 minutes just writing out um uh you have to get it cleared. Cause I there are companies when they do international shipping, they apply for papers and it takes about three months. So when these companies apply they're spending a couple hundred bucks which isn't an issue but the issue is getting denied uh waiting for the response and not only that if it doesn't make it there you're not insured it's just so much to it Nikhil I would love to but aside from those occasional giveaways it's really hard for me to be able to do that and not to mention these boxes that I'm shipping out they weigh a lot they weigh a lot because there's a couple frags in there but it's something I will consider. As the numbers grow, I will consider it for sure, bro. Never say never. That's the way I like to look at it. Ard al Khalij, what is the performance like? Um, there is one fragrance that I got from Ard al Khalij. It was terrible performance. Some of the other ones, really good. So it really depends on the fragrance. Interesting question. So, Woody Style. Woody Style by Arabian Nude. Let me go check it out really quick. Let me see if I can find it for you. It might be animalic, but it's smooth too. It's wearable. It's wearable. You're not going to find it. So right now there is one on eBay for $80, but where is it coming from? International. Uh, it's $40 shipping. <clears throat> Let me show you what I'm talking about, bro. So Woody style, be careful. This is Woody. And Woody style is, is different. This is Woody style right here. Woody style. Woody style is slightly animalic, but very smooth. Whenever I think like of a base oud that I would want to replicate into a fragrance as a base, this is what I think right here. Woody style. And it's basically a lot of smooth ambery oud. Really. Um, where can you find it? I'm not sure. I don't think Joma Shop has it. Let me see. Woody. They don't have it, bro. Let me see. There's another one called Oud Maktoum. But this is straight up animalic Oud. And it's probably going to be the cheapest for the quality that you're going to get in this. If you like tobacco Oud from Tom Ford and stuff like that, like that kind of animalic or, or uh, Amwaj Royal Tobacco, and you're looking for something that this is niche still, by the way. This is a niche from Swiss Arabian. This is their niche lineup or luxury line. Um, but more cheap, cheaper. Cambodian Oud, Indian Oud, and Agar, just regular Oud. You're going to like this one because here you go. Tobacco Oud. It's in that same funky Oud family. I highly suggest this one, honestly, if that's what you're looking for. Let me see if I can find it for you really quick. Oud Maktoum by Sawalif. All right, let's see. So 149. Bro, don't sleep on Amazon. Don't sleep on Amazon. Look at this. There you go, bro. Jump on this. So you're going to see that it looks like a white bottle. I purchased it and it looked like a white bottle, but it actually came in gold. 90 bucks for the quality that you're going to get of Oud. You will not get something that smells of this Oud quality for this cheap. I'm telling you guys, if you want some quality Oud for this price, this is the best bang for buck. I have it right here. Bang for buck. I'm not saying you're going to like it because it's some funky butthole Oud. I love it. But that's it. Oud Maktoum. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is nice. This is very nice. That's like funeral vibes for me. So there you go, bro. Tobacco touch or tobacco leaf? Tobacco leaf is much stronger, but much more cinnamon. I definitely will. I will. 
I will, Undertaker. Appreciate your support, man. I appreciate that. For Kirke, quality dupes. I've, yes, Arcadia is a good quality one. Arcadia, I think that's by Paris Corner. Just haven't had time to get into that one. Let me see. Is it Emir? Arcadia Emir. Where are you? Is it Arcadia Aroma? Let's use this so we for reference. Where are you? Where are you? Is it Arcadia? Arcana. That's what it is. Arcana. It is a really good quality dupe of Kirke. Even the bottle, you can tell it's a Kirke dupe. But man, this stuff is good. How much is it? 43 bucks. Honestly, the quality speaks in volumes. Hidden Gems. What's happening, James? Good to see you, bro. One fragrance for life, excluding yours. And with all honesty, I wasn't going to say mine. Because mine is, is, is seasonal, limited. I love it, but it's a vibe. One fragrance for life. Fudge, that's hard. I'm thinking in my head, Spice Bomb Extreme or Dior Homme Parfum. And I'd probably go with Dior Homme Parfum. Spice Bomb Extreme, the thing is, I could, I could pull that off at the gym. I could. Dior Homme Parfum, no way in hell. But, um, or do I want to do Versace Dylan Blue? One of those three. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> Priceless sense. I remember you. Yeah, bro. I remember you. I think we we chatted. Did we not? I think so. Latafa's confidential. The gold one. Yeah, but it's screechy. Arcana is, it's a good one. For the price, not bad. But Arcana is much smoother. Final question of the day for him. What's the, don't worry about it, man. What's your favorite clone house? Fragrance world. Fragrance world. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. But uh, I think that they're creeping and people just don't see it. People have been stuck on Latafa for a while, but they're coming up. They're coming up. Not quite, not quite anything specific, but if you like that DNA, check out Afnan Ornament. Nikhil with the super chat. God bless you, bro. Eid Mubarak, and I appreciate it, man. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you very much. And again, thanks to all of you. Just watching is enough support. Thank you, bro. But the super chats are greatly appreciated. Apart from Vu Elegant, have you gotten the chance of others from the Emir Zerjoff line to try others from the Emir? I have not. Honestly, I have not. You're talking about the... Um, they have quite a few of them. They have quite a few of them. All right, let's continue. Who are the most important people in your life and why? The Bane, because he comes in here and asks me extremely personal questions. And um, if I don't answer him, he gets mad. So that's who and that's why. <laughs> but I love you regardless. No, but in all honesty, um, people that make differences in my life, genuinely. Uh, friends, family, people that show love and give love and uh, people that criticize with respect, people that have your best interest at heart, genuine. And I say criticize or rather like reflect with you because that's a huge important aspect in my life. I think it's, it's always moving forward and people that can deliver with respect deserve love and respect back. So those are the people, people that help me progress in life, people that help, uh, help and can take also not just give, 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 you know it's exhausting when you just take 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 and there are a lot of people in my life especially right now where i'm just taking 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 but this is me publicly appreciating you and thank you you know who you are if you've made a difference significant difference in my life um so yeah that's who it is and of course the people that birthed me you know because then <laughs> all right they do they do make some good oud no Mancera Instant Crush is not a safe blind buy. If you enjoy Baccarat, you're more inclined to like that one. Isaias, what's going on? Uh, had to subscribe. Greatly appreciate it, bro. Much love for you, brother. 
Your channels, I appreciate it, man. Um, like I said, try out Afnan's ornament. It literally looks like an ornament. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I'm not saying that it's a direct dupe, but it, it treads in that family of fragrances. And let me show you what the price is. For this price, bro, it's an absolute no-brainer, dude. Absolute no-brainer, you guys. Come on, 23 bucks. And this will outperform so many designer fragrances too. So genuinely think that this is a freaking gem. All right. Appreciate you, bro. Love a good oud. Melinda, check that one out. Dean, what's going on, bro? Mansuera's Royal Oud. I definitely will. I appreciate it. I was actually going to pick a pick up a couple of their 8ml's. If you go on Mansera, which I highly suggest you do, um, you could pick five 8ml decants. You know your boy can't sample out of 2ml's. 2ml's, it's like testing on the strip. You think I can spray my, my usual routine out of that little... Yeah, no way, bro. No way. Minimum 5ml's. But they do 8 mLs. You get 5 of them for 80 bucks. Not bad. If you buy 8 mLs separately or 5 mLs, they're about 25 bucks each. 5 times 5, you know the you know the math. So, cuz I forget. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> 5 times 25. So it's like 250 versus 80. And then 80 is the price of one fragrance. So, it's really not bad. What's going on Buffalo Bill? Good to see you, bro. Ajmal Blue, that's what's up. Live in Jersey two weeks ago. Yeah, getting smoke from Canada. Oh, wow. We had one in New Jersey. Wow, Jackson. That's crazy, bro. From Great Adventure. Yikes, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Sure did, bro. Yeah, I usually layer it with a soft vanilla to calm it down. Yeah, it's a bit screechy. Arcana is much smoother. Still good. Undertaker, I haven't worn it yet, but I will. I will. Sivu, I will consider this and I'll put it down on the list. Miss your live with Uncle. Don't be sorry. All good, bro. As long as you're here. Get, I'm glad to see you more often. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Much love for you, bro. Thoughts on Gentleman Boise? I have it. I haven't worn it since the day I bought it. Kind of forgettable. A good one of the lineup. One of the better lineups. Boise. And Privé are one of the better ones. I like the intense, honestly, more. That's my honest opinion. I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna provide a video, Nikhil, within the next uh, month or month and a half, talking about all of them. That's kind of why you're gonna start seeing me wearing them as a scent of the day, scent of the day, scent of the day. So you will see them. Can you recommend a high quality freshie? I wish I can get Divine Asylum. So I'm going to recommend another one that I constantly recommend, which is Qaid al-Fursan uh, by Latafa. And if you can't get that one, then I will highly suggest you try and get Prince from Luxador. That is also an awesome freshie. Um, quite a few of them. Or Maher Legacy. Maher Legacy by Latafa. Great one. I got you, man. I got you. I've got to update some of those lists, and we will definitely be doing it. Instant Crush or Super Crush, good enough. Honestly, Instant Crush is significantly better. Super Crush, it'll give you the idea, but that's it. Any upcoming releases you're looking forward to? Other than Spice Bomb Oud, when they do it? <laughs> um, not really sure. That have been reported? Not really. No. Aside from uh, some, of the, some of the dupes. So what I'm going to do here now to wrap this up is I'm going to light some oud. So we're going to do some, some oud that's been coated with perfume, kind of give you guys a little idea of what I do. So the thing is with these, I usually like to light it on the stove because it produces so much like soot. But what you want to do is you take your charcoal. And if you don't put it on the stove and you don't want to make that mess, use a lighter. And so I'll put this underneath. You got to be careful. And whatever you light, it, this stuff has like igniter, igniter,
Okay, I unmuted myself. Mute, I muted myself. So basically what I did was, I know a lot of people don't have charcoal or a stove or they don't wanna light it on a stove. I just lit the charcoal with a lighter and um, you really don't wanna inhale this stuff. It's coated with a self-igniting uh, chemical or fluid. And as it self ignites, don't inhale that stuff because it's just straight up migraine city. So, um, so I just lit it and it's going to completely burn off all of the coating. And once it burns that off, you want to kind of see the ambers and then you're going to place the oud. I'm using an oud that's from Asatir and this is uh, Mubakhar oud, which basically means it's perfumed oud chips. So I lit it with a lighter just enough to kind of get the sparks going. Once the sparks start going, it's going to ignite the rest of it. Don't inhale that initial smoke. Give it some, some air and you'll see it started to coat already. So basically you just, so with the caps for these, they're not designed to cover it while it's, it's being lit or with a cheaper quality one, you'll see that it's starting to get discolored. So it really depends on what you want to do. And then you just take your oud, which is not cheap, man. Authentic oud is ridiculous. But this oud chip is specifically coated in a fragrance that kind of smells like Aventus. So this is Aventus oud, literally, you guys. It smells like Aventus. It's a niche brand, Middle East. And you just place it on the coal. And you can either blow on it or if it's already got the ambers. And there you go. That's it. And you just put it in the center of the room, put it in the center of the room, put it in under your shirt. Sometimes, you know, we'll come over and we'll just, you know, get it on your shirt, put it on your hat, whatever. And I'm going to let that burn. Let me see. Maybe I can just put this behind me. Eh, no space. Okay. Let's just put it over here. So that's how we do it. Basically during Eid, during holidays, festives, it's very nostalgic. It's very calming, comforting. It's, it's nice. It's nice. I love it. I personally love it. All right. So let's see. I'm going to take a couple more questions and wrap this up, y'all. Yeah, I know. I apologize for all the... I must have accidentally tapped it or something. Do you think it, I should get DHI clone if I already have a Beastly Valentino Womo Intense? I don't want to make a redundant purchase. To be honest with you, they're quite different. They're quite different. Valentino Womo Intense is much less wearable. It's so dense and like it's got that sweet mandarin it's very dense they're quite different not gonna lie i think you should how do you feel about valentino womo intense if you like it a lot get it if you don't like it all you don't care maybe leave it alone but they're quite different they're pretty different honestly valentino womo intense and dior Rome intense are pretty different valentino womo intense i think is closer to dior Rome parfum i don't remember it's been a while it's been a while what do I think about Guerlain Lome Ideal Platine Privé? It's forgettable. Uh, there are other fragrances in that similar family of fragrances that I think do it better. Definitely. It's just, um, it's kind of like, what was it? Grapefruit and uh, grapefruit musk. It had a grapefruit almond musk. The almond musk combination just made it smell like ambergris. Grapefruit, ambergris, and vetiver. I remember checking myself. I was like, I put deodorant on. I hardly ever smell, but no, it was the grapefruit. So not for me personally. I haven't tried Maher Black yet. I know, weird. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up, y'all. I hope you're having an amazing day, Ruben. Nebras Gold or Sharaf Oud has vanilla. They do. Thank you for your help, Sense of Sense. I appreciate it. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. The Bane, thoughts on Gentleman's Society. Simple designer take on Palo Santo, a.k.a. Gayakwood. Yeah, no, it's not one that I'm going to pick up. There is one. Uh, Fragrance or Paris Corner just released it. I haven't tried it yet. It's called Illusions. I don't know if it's O-Extreme, though. Let's see. This is the last, this is the last thing I'm going to look into, guys. I got to go. Start off my day. I love you guys, but gotta get this day going. This past, yes, here you go, bro. I got you. I want to get the Abbey Rouge or the Habit Rouge from Guerlain, the new one, because I've been hearing a lot of good things. Here you go, bro. This is officially 
the first and only true dupe of it that I see. I haven't tested it yet. And for 31 bucks, that's, that's worth testing in my opinion. Yeah. It's not really strong. Those fragrances are pretty well blended, Persephone's dad. <laughs> that was funny for me to say. I don't know why. I have no thoughts yet, Marcus. I want to get it. I definitely, I will get it. So is it strong and I'm just missing it? No, I don't think so, bro. I think that that fragrance is pretty well bl blended. And so when you have a fragrance that's pretty well blended, you don't really pick out one or two notes. It just smells like an overall, just it smells like perfume, cologne, fragrance. And that means that it's either designed to be that way or they just blended it well. Because there are some fragrances that are are uh, executed really well, but you can still discern some notes. Doesn't make it not an execute or a well ex well executed fragrance, but instead it could be that they wanted you to discern the differences. Risha, Bessalur Om Extreme Dupe. Hell yeah, bro, Ruben! I cannot wait for you to get those, bro. Paris Corner Celestial. I wasn't crazy about Celestial. Let me see which one is Celestial. That should I think if you're talking about the Ganymede. Oh my God, it was eternal and it was too much for me. Not my taste. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you're talking about. Not my taste, but to answer your question, very long. I hope I did. I hope I did. And if I didn't answer your questions, uh, hopefully in the next live stream, I will. Um, this pretty much sums up today's today's video. And tomorrow we'll come back and we'll do another one. Um, I see a question here. E-discount perfumes is 100% legit. And to prove it to you, bro, let me show you really quick, okay? I make orders from them regularly. Let me ease your mind a little bit. Discount perfumes. Where are you at? It's showing on PayPal because I, I buy it through PayPal. Let's see. E-discount perfumes. This is a refund. I don't want to show you a refund. Doesn't matter. Um, take my word for it, brother. They're legit. I've actually spoken to the, the team, the, the team inside of E-discount. And I'll be able, it's a really good fragrance. It's a really good fragrance. 27. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Much love. And until tomorrow, peace. Have a good day.